Hi there, and welcome back to another episode of Always Learning with Lexi Keaton, the show where we look at all things learning and teaching. This week on the show, we will be evaluating a classroom technology tool using the SAMR model. SAMR was created by Dr. Ruben Puente Dura, and he has put this together so that we have a way that we can talk about the way we use technology in the classroom. So we can take it beyond just adding it for adding its sake. I love a good framework for evaluating my teaching practice, and this one's pretty simple. So the S, am I substituting technology for something I could have done on pen and paper with no added value? That's something to consider. Or have I actually augmented the practice by doing so? Is it that technology has enhanced the learning experience? Beyond that is modification. Has bringing technology into the classroom allowed you to modify the way that you teach? And redefinition is whether it's redefined the entire task and the entire learning activity is because technology is very well integrated into the process. Most Australian teachers would be very well familiar with the High Impact Teaching Strategies, or HITS. This is a group of 10 strategies which teachers are able to use in the classroom to enhance student learning outcomes. To illustrate how we can use SAMR to enhance our teaching practice, let's take a look at Google Classroom, a class management software that is used in schools all over the world, to see if we can enhance differentiation in the classroom. These are the high impact teaching strategies and they talk about differentiation as being methods that teachers can use to extend the knowledge and skills of every student in every class regardless of their starting point. So we all learn differently, we all come from different places. Differentiating your teaching allows for all students to be engaged in the way that is right for them at the right time. So, Google Classroom is an awesome tool. It's free and it allows teachers and students to share files and also track grading and assessments and a whole bunch of great stuff. But does using it in the classroom mean that you're integrating technology as best as you can? Let's find out. It's possible to use Google Classroom as a way to group students together and assign different tasks for purposes of differentiation. You can also augment it by grouping the tasks together giving all students access to all materials and allowing them to take ownership of their learning. Modification is where it gets interesting. A teacher might see how students are doing on a quiz and modify the rest of their lesson plan accordingly in real time. Redefinition of the teaching practice using Google Classroom is where the magic really happens. So you can take a quiz and then build in feedback for when a student gets a question wrong that will direct them towards a resource where they can learn why they got the question wrong and then have the opportunity to take the test again. This is a real personalization of learning that only occurs at the highest level of the SAMR model, ultimately resulting in really happy students and really happy teachers. That's it for this episode, but thanks for coming along, listening, watching. I hope it was useful to you. If so, let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to keep learning with me, click subscribe and visit my website, lexikeaton.com.